Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. In the last episode, we made it all the way to the Kimbombo Village. Uh, we've met up with our fourth party member, Piers. Although we can't <laughs> can't leave this place until we we finish helping him, so he's kind of like kind of like a temporary party member. If we do try to leave this place and do other stuff, but yeah, now we're in the Gumbomba statue, um, trying to acquire uh, the gem that the witch doctor in this town is trying to give to the Gumbomba statue. So we got another dungeon. Oops, <laughs> that's not right. Got another dungeon to do. All right, let's use. Piers luckily has a void. Synergy, so we can use him instead of Jenna to cast that. So we can now well, we'll have more synergy to spare with Jenna <laughs> to use like attacks and stuff. Oh, we're probably gonna bump into a lot of creatures because our level is kind of low. Got a salamander. Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem considering we have Felix's overpowered sword. These interesting spinny bits. Kind of interesting to see moving parts in a GBA game. Oh, he's looking like a little bit weird. Doomsayer. How by surprise? No! Ow. Ow. Okay. Alright, well, Felix is fine. Uh, well, I guess I'll use some synergy. Beam. Plasma. I have complete faith in Felix being able to kill the Doomsayer, so I'll have Piers attack the other skelly man. Yeah, I'm a level 16 knight. Yo. Oh, well, that was a one-way. That was a one-way ticket. <laughs> All right, got a little bit of a maze here. Spirit. Luckily, there aren't too many treasures we have to worry about in this dungeon. Um, yeah, there's only like three treasures. Two of them being like good, and then there's also a gin we have to keep our eyes peeled out for. Aha! It was really a mimic. Lies and slander. What do I want to do? Let's have you attack. You mimic. I think this mimic is also weak to fire. I'll just have you guys attack. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I could set up like a a summon. But Maggie though should take care of this fairly well. <laughs> I already got a bunch of experience. And we got a hard nut for that fight. It's better than our usual nuts, hard nut. Boost defense. Who needs the defense? Shiva? Or should I do Jenna? Hmm. <laughs> They're kind of equal on the on the thing. Maybe Jenna, like Jenna probably has a little bit more. I usually equip Shiva first with like stuff. And then, like, it always seems like Jenna just gets the hand-me-downs. Eh. I'll do, I'll do Sheba. Jenna can have the next one. Once again, not trying to min-max here. I forget, I forget Piers is also a healer, so... Abuse his synergy. Avoids the fact we're off. That's <laughs> not really helping us that much, is, now is it? Uh, we got another chest. See if I can navigate this. Two chests in one area, although technically one was a mimic, so not a biggie. Um, in terms of monsters, there's actually a monster drop um, in this dungeon. If you find any red demons, try to soften them up a bit, and then try to slay them with a, a Jupiter Djinn. The only one that we can really do that with is Blitz, but yeah, try to soften him up with some like basic attacks and then 
you slay it with a Jupiter Gin, you might you might get an increased chance of giving a staff of Anubis. Ooh, bracelet used to hunt foes. I rarely use those effects, but who wants it? Mm. <laughs> Both of you could use it. You're giving Shiva priority, even though Jenna like will be probably way more useful later on. Because of her healing capabilities. Megido! Alright, we already found two out of three treasures. Okay, looks like that lash thing is probably just a shortcut if we need it. I'm pretty sure I can't go over there. But let me explore to the left first before making any Decisions that are one way. Uh, I see. Eh. And they got time this. At least it stops when I'm in the menu. So some things just don't stop. Okay, we can cross now. Do -do 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 -do. And here's another lash thingy in case we need to get back. Hey, there's the gen. We can't quite reach it though. <laughs> um, and yeah, <laughs> the, the 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 method to get this is to fall down from above. So don't worry about it too much on this floor. I might, I might be agonizing. Like, hey, I can see it. If only I could jump off this gear. More doomsayers, jeez. Cheese and crackers, man. Where are the red demons? More interested in those fights. <laughs> I'll cast a void again. I was hoping that it'll, it'll just keep away maybe the weaker monsters. Oh boy. Oh, uh, there's a lot of gears here. Ooh, so many places to go. Might go overkill having three of them attack the spirit. Megido! I get a little bit. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> I think I think I should go this way. There's a ladder here. I know I need to do something in this room. I'm just not sure if I need to do it now or later. Oh no! Caught by surprise. Of course you do a crit on me. Impair. That's fine. Got some pee-pee. <laughs> though is always just like so extra, just like an attack for a sword. All right, Sheba's now level 16 magician. I'm not sure if my whole party being 16 and above will help me. I like a mouse. Look at that fancy footwork. Hint, you can do that. Probably means if we switch up these gears, we could probably go that way. Alright. Let's do monkey see, monkey do. Do what the mouse does. It's <laughs> just funny, he's like spin. Oh, please. <laughs> Alright, so I can't climb that one yet. Right? I haven't been here yet, right? There we go. Death. 
Nope, can't go there. Okay, <laughs> that was a little tricky. Thought maybe that was like a wall. <laughs> I do some synergy. And are cool. How many synergies that like kind of just do the same thing? Andra. Megiddo! Overkill on the bone fighter. Finish off the death head. That did hardly any damage. <laughs> Luckily it was enough. Alright, probably should check the other ladder, but I'm already here, so. I need to backtrack, that's fine. Doo -doo. Oh, got a red demon. Uh, all right. So probably shouldn't have Felix attack. To, to be honest. Uh, let's see if these three guys are enough to accidentally kill it. Aha! I'm in defense mode. Okay, let's put all y'all on defense. There we go, and it flashes, signifying that you slayed it in a special manner. And we didn't get any drops, but that's fine. It's a very low drop rate. Unless, uh... Yeah, elixir, unless you, uh, do some RNG manipulation. There are ways to, like, get it guaranteed. I would like to get a Staff of Anubis, though, because I've never gotten it to drop before, and I'm kind of interested in those weapons. That are a little bit harder to find. Uh, we got a pound... thingy. Okay. I'm gonna guess the other one is probably the other ladder that I did not go after so that, that I did not go down. Hey, another red demon. Seems to, seem to be quite prevalent on this floor. Let's do the same strategy I did last time. And... Although if I can't kill it with sheep, I'll just kill it in the next round. It is easy when you only encounter one at a time. If, if it comes in like a party of of monsters and you have to kind of consider which ones you want to slay first. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully I did everything in that room. There, there were some other places to go, but I assumed I can't reach it. Alright, where was that ladder that I missed? Pretty close by, I think. Megiddo. Do do do. Oh God, please. <laughs> Uh, ladder, ladder, where did I see you? I saw you here. Okay. This is a problem for future me. I probably should have checked this area first to just kind of confirm. <laughs> I always get, always get my hopes up. Actually, Felix, you use Cure. He's not using his synergy for anything else. It's sitting on his sword. Okay. <laughs> I 
gonna only look in exasperation. All right, no, so what room did I miss? That's what I hate about backtracking. That's curious, you can just do a standard attack. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> good thing I came back here. I was so, like, interested in the cogs. I didn't see the, the, the little gap that I could jump across. Alright, nothing, nothing to the salamander. Just attack it normally. room looks the same as the other one I was in, but it should be different. Ah, uh, wrong way. <laughs> I don't know why they had to like make this a maze, whoever built this. Like the people that built the pyramids, just a bunch of like dead end corridors. There we go, we reached the other side. And that will permanently set that down. And may not be apparent what that did, but that should have reversed the gears. So now we can travel in like the opposite direction. You go on defense mode. Vital moon! Ho! Ha! That was in defense mode too. You know what, Felix actually the defending won't help you here. Uh, cure well. You can ply well, too. Hey, I'm a 17, level 17 knight. Still no staff of Anubis. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's get back. This way. Spirit. Well, anywho. <laughs> been like chomping at the bit to like play this dungeon. <laughs> I haven't been able to play all day, even though like I technically should be able to. There's been a lot of uh, tree work happening outside though. Our jacaranda tree. Oh, wait, I think. Can I go this way? Nope. The gear is reversed. Our jacaranda trees in the front yard are way too big, so we have to, like, cut them shorter. We <laughs> don't, don't have to worry about, like, a bunch of branches falling on our roof. That would be terrible. Just. Have a giant branch just bursted through the roof. Do 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 my brain. Oh, am I supposed to go this way? I don't know. It, it. Please. <laughs> okay. I should be able to travel down one of these gears. Uh, let's get ready. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I do that just so fog doesn't get used first. All right, I'm not sure if uh, this happens if the fight happens right away. No, okay, so we got a choice. Let me let me have do this first <laughs> in case we need to reset the room. We have a way across. All right, finally another Earth Gin. Let's hope it doesn't run away. Alright, Venus Jin, we'll have you attack. I'll actually have Jenna use Boreas. I actually have not used Neptune yet, but we'll use our four Mercury summon, Boreas, God of the North Wind. I'll summon Procne, which should be effective against wind should be effective against Earth or <laughs> Oh 
my god. Okay. Well, it's probably a little important to save. Are you serious, game? Where's the nearest exit? Oh my god. Oh no, did that reset? Ugh, blast. Blast it all! This guy, this is why you save before, <laughs> before doing those encounters. I didn't expect it to run on the first turn. <laughs> like, maybe like the second turn, but I was just gonna just summon rush it and be done with it. Old bastard. I gotta go all the way back up. That's not too bad. This is a little annoying. It's fine. We'll, we'll get some level grinding out of it. We need the levels. This flip and avoid isn't working for us. Anyway, uh, since I haven't been able to play all day, I've been reading... Ascendance of a Bookworm. Volume 5, Part 3? I always get confused what part I'm on. But yeah, I've been binging that. It just came out today, which is April 5th. Which is way in the... I'm releasing this way in the future, but... Oh my god, please! <laughs> Alright, we're back again. So, do I save? <laughs> Maybe I should save. <laughs> I'm gonna try to summon rush it again. Just because I want the fight to be over fast, but if he runs again, I swear to god. I'm gonna have you summon Boreas, you can summon Procne, you can fight. <laughs> Aha! There's no escape! Alright, I'm gonna attack you with the snow cone maker. Take that. A missile for good measure. Alright, let's use Procne. This is brutal. Boom, boom. Yay, he's dead. Finally! Alright. <laughs> After much trials and tribulations. Nope. Felix found the genie steel! Finally have... Finally have another flippin' earth gin. Wanting this, <laughs> I've been wanting one for Felix. He's been kind of gimped out for a while. Oh, right, where do I go next? We got all the treasures, save for Piers, Piers uh, Black Crystal, and we got the gin. All I have to really worry about is completing the dungeon. Um, where have we not gone yet? After doing the Venus Gen, where have we not gone yet? I think I think there's a room that we can do anything with. I like you guys. I think, I think we have to go up above, right? There was a room where I was like, "Well, we can't do anything here. Let's come back later." <laughs> oh crap! Uh, I can't use. Okay, I can use Blitz. I thought maybe he wasn't ready. Eh? No? No dice? This way? Whoa, two red demons. I'll have Felix kill one. Uh, actually... 
Did I... Oopsie, I forgot to put you back to normal. I'll just do that. <laughs> Hope it doesn't... Get a little accident. <laughs> hmm... This is a little dangerous. <laughs> I could- if I take it slow, I could potentially... Potentially slay both. With the one that- with Blitz, but I'd have to like... Kind of finagle a little bit. Just hoping I don't get any- I don't get vital mooned. Vital moon to death. Which one? Do you. Hopefully it's soft enough. I didn't hit it as hard before. And I'll actually have you use it because I don't want Sheba to die. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it only had a little bit of HP left. <laughs> Couldn't survive it regardless. So I could have just manually, manually set my gin. All right, back in this room. All right, I said there was a ladder here. I went up and I was like, well, can't do anything here. But now I should be able to do something here. There we go. Uh, got some weird mechanism here. Megido, die! Another I've got a Gumbomba statue inside a Gumbomba statue. It's like a it's like a Matroshka doll. Focus your energies. What's going on here? Everyone, look over here. Check it out. Oh, hello. Hello, sup. Let us now present our jewel to the great Gumbomba. Oh, great Gumbomba, please accept this, our humble gift. Please, great Gumbomba, accept this jewel. Look, the great Gumbomba has noticed the light of the jewel. Just like, ha, ha, ha. You are still not pleased. No, this time. He seemed almost like he might. We must continue the drums. More drums. That's, that's the problem here. Ah, so that's how it works. He's been failing because the conduit that channels his synergy is broken. So yeah, you kind of notice that even though they're praying to this, like, Great Gumbomba statue, like, we've been seeing a lot of gears and stuff inside. It's just a machine, and yeah, it's just not working. Like, this whole, this whole, uh, ritual thing isn't working because the circuits down here are all scrambled. Did we reconnect the conduit so we can complete the ceremony? Um, yes, actually, because that would bring the jewel inside here and then we can nab it. I won't help them, Felix. They're the ones who stole my orb from the Madrins. Piers, I understand that you're angry at them, but it really is in our best interest to help. Think about it, Piers. Akafubu stole the orb solely to perform this ceremony. So, what do you think he intends to do with the orb? He means to give it to the Great Gombomba. Oh! So... If his ceremony succeeds, the orb will be taken into the statue. Exactly. <laughs> and we're inside the statue. If the ceremony succeeds, we can go find the orb. I don't want to help that Akafubu, but... 
I don't like the idea of helping him any more than you do, but if we can end this without a fight, I want I I wouldn't, wouldn't mind a fight. <laughs> Come on. You're right, Sheba. Let's see if we can't help him finish this his little ceremony. Looks like the energy charge is supposed to run over these blocks. We can just move these around a little. That might be enough to complete the circuit. Ah, there we go. These panels have arrows on them. What do you think it all means? Look at the directions they point. I'll bet these will rotate the blocks. But how do we set the blocks back in place? <laughs> just pound them in! Won't that do the trick? We must watch the, the path this synergy takes and move the blocks accordingly. Alrighty. Oh, the magic, the power of the witch doctor fills my body. At the count of 20, I shall present our jewel to the great Gumbomba. Make your hearts as one and dance for the great Gumbomba. All right, we have 20 seconds. I think I think we might have more time. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, we lost the ability to avoid. I don't think there's any monster encounters in this room, luckily. <laughs> they, they're a little merciful on that. All right, let's pound that. It'll lift this. And then we gotta rotate. All right, so this one's an obvious one. Do Pull that. Crisscross? Applesauce? I'm not sure. Oh. Yellow. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, this one looks like it has to go here no matter what. Is it really- wait, is it really, can't be that easy. Oops. Did it only need one rotation? No, wait. That one needs to flip. Uh, which means I have to look these up again. Pound them all back in! Quickly! Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Pound! 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 And then I need to flip you. Mm. Right? I hope. <laughs> uh, that, that one's gonna be a dead end. Let's see, how much time do we have? I think we, we got blue down. Red is gonna get stuck here. So I think we need to... I think we need to switch red. Oh, great Gumbomba, please accept this, our humble gift. Eh? <laughs> look, look, the great Gumbomba has seen our jewel. <laughs> we made it blue. <laughs> ah, we've been raised the great Kabomba. No, the great catastrophe shall befall Kabombo. <laughs> silence, silence. Do not be hasty. The great Kabomba has not opened his eyes in anger. Your prayers have not appeased him. That is all. Pray, you must pray more. Let the great Kabomba hear your desires. Drums, more drums. <laughs> okay, well, that was funny. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, pound. We got the blue one right. We just need one blue, one red. Uh, alright, so we got that one down. Right, this one. Or did I just mess that up again? Let's go that way. I'm doing the same mistakes again. Uh... Just up again. It's like there's so many. 
There's just so many clustered there. I'm just like, wait, what's the what's the path again? Right, so, well, this one can, no matter what, it has to go up. Right up. I so badly just want this to go this way. Right? And then... There we go. There, it, by the way, it is randomized uh, each playthrough, so... Yours is gonna look different than mine. Uh, and yeah, that's always gonna be broken. Guess if I want, I can I can flip it, have have it connect. Okay, All right. Let's run around here. Should it go this way, and then do a little weird, weird loop de loop. We did it. Oh, great Gumbomba! Please accept this, our humble gift. There we go. We got blue and a red. Look, the great Gumbomba has responded to our gift. Blech. It ate it. Did you see it, people? At last, the great Gumbomba accepts me. I shall answer his call. I shall enter the great Gumbomba. Wait for me, my people. I must return to my people. The black orb, where is it? I saw it rolling here. Gave through and rolled all along this groove in the floor. Oh. There it goes. Wow, guys, grab it. Dude. <laughs> Dude. It vanished into that, into that hole. <laughs> like, we're just, we're just stood there. Dude. It looks pretty deep. Can you see it? Do you think we can reach it? Hmm. No, I can't even see it. Use the little girl, push her in there. It's no use. Now I'll never see Lemuria again. I am lost forever from my homeland. Wait, hold on. I can see light on the other side of this hole. A light? There must be a room on the other side of this statue. Who? Who are you? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you Kumbombo? Obviously not. <sighs> then what are you doing inside the great Kumbomba? We've come to reclaim the black orb you stole. Do you really believe I'd permit you to take it? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, watch it. You wouldn't even be in here if it weren't for us. What is that supposed to mean? Why should I believe you? I am Akafugu, the chosen witch doctor of Kimbombo. <laughs> Jenna's like, let me show you. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yeah, we know. We saw your magic energy flowing past us. See how this channel runs along the floor? Here, look! It runs all the way over there. But the thing is, the circuit was broken right there. So we completed the circuit so that your magic energy could go where it needed to go. But if you truly did this, then why? Why did you help me? We were sort of hoping that we could take the orb if your ceremony succeeded. <laughs> There's like no jewel was actually ever needed for this. Ah, so you have taken the orb. Then be gone. You have, you have no further business here. But we didn't get the orb. It rolled through this groove and right through this hole. We saw a light through there, so we suspect there must be another room behind the wall. Oh, oh, that, that, is that what we needed? <laughs> I might be able to retrieve the orb. You already had a jewel, why didn't you use that one? <laughs> Do you think Akafu will really return the orb to us? I hope so. Or else... The weapon's out. Maybe we had them all wrong. I 
thought Akafubu was an evil man, but I guess we were wrong. I, I think he- I think it was mostly just out of desperation, but yeah. I mean, he did do bad things. You can- you never can tell, Shiba. We have little choice but to trust that you'll return it. Come on! Let's go, Felix! Alright, if he doesn't... Sword's out! Oh, it's an elevator. Thanks! I have followed Oya's instructions and entered the final chamber. He told me that if I reached this chamber, I would become Kumbombo's witch doctor. But what must I do here to become a witch doctor? I do not know. Your black orb rests on the hands of the statue bef before you. Go on, take it. All right, mine. Uh, Oh, young witch doctor, you have succeeded in your task. You have found this chamber. Oh, what? <laughs> Who's talking? The great Kumbombo is real. Who, who speaks? It sounded like it was the statue of the great Gumbomba. That's ridiculous. Aka Fubu, your magic has grown strong. At last, you are worthy of the title Witch Doctor. I give you the feathers and gown that are the badges of your office. Oh, ta da! <laughs> You're now a vizier. <laughs> it just reminds me of uh, Aladdin. Their, their little poofy hats and the little feathers that come out of their little turbans. Akafubu, from this day forward, you shall become Bombo's witch doctor. I've done it! I finally earned the right to be a witch doctor! At last! Yes! <laughs> Wait, there's more. There is one thing that remains for me to give you. Uh oh. Can I have it? Akafubu, you hasty fool. I had something else to give you. And in your haste, you left too soon. Say, you there. Hi, I'm Felix. Yes, you. You looking around there. I have magic for Akafubu. Magic that he will soon need. But he is not ready for it. As a result, I have decided I shall not pass this magic onto anyone just yet. Can I have it? Tell this to Akafubu. If he desires his new magic, then he must earn it himself. No, no, wait, I want the chest. If Akafubu does not refine his magical arts, then he will never earn this new power. This power shall not be realized until he ceases living only for himself, and instead lives his life to benefit others. Tell him so! I don't suppose you can just... Give that magic to us, created of the same mind. What do you mean? I'm just asking if maybe we could earn that magic before Akafubu. The power can be claimed by another, but only if Akafubu lacks the will to earn it himself. Aha! So we can get it. <laughs> I'm being a little greedy here. Can like multiple people get it? Cause like, I'm guessing every witch doctor gets it, so. I'm, guess I'm guessing multiple people are allowed to get it, unless unless it's like only one thing. Does the previous witch doctor like give it back or something when he dies? Perhaps if he must compete for his power, he will focus and take his office seriously. But before you do this thing, you must convey to Akafubu that I have all that I have told you. Oh, of course, we wouldn't dream of cheating him. We will tell him all that you have told us. Follow that path and you will find a cavern. But now I shall sleep until the time comes when I must anoint a new witch doctor. Felix, go get Pierre's precious orb. I got a black crystal, yay, finally. Felix, do you have any idea what exactly this great, great Gumbomba really is? I know. <laughs> 
you do not understand either, then I do not feel quite so foolish. But doesn't this witch doctor magic seem not unlike some kind of synergy? Wouldn't it be quite fortunate if we were able to get our hands on that power ourselves? Yes, it would. Although, <laughs> when we do actually get it, it's, it's kind of hard to use. Oh, you didn't need much convincing at all, did you, Felix? I didn't remind you, but we're going to need every kind of synergy we can muster to complete this quest. Either way, Felix, we are at the very least obligated to deliver the Gambomba's message. Let's fulfill our promise to the Gambomba. Then maybe we can come back and inside this Gumbomba statue some other time to get it. Alright. You can't go back to this room right now. Um, but I think we're missing a synergy to like complete it. So Felix carried the message to the Gumbomba to Akafubu. By the time Felix finished his story, Dawn had broken. Right, well, I guess that's that. You are virtuous men coming here to deliver this message. My son and I thank you. <laughs> what do we have to be thankful of? If they had just stopped me from leaving the great Gumbomba, <laughs> this wouldn't have happened. What? If you had been more interested in your duty, you would not have left so quickly. But father, these people are trying to steal the magic of our people. It should be mine. Mine, I tell you. That power belongs to me. I'm going to be the one to get the great Gumbomba's magic. You'll see. The person that he pouts in the corner. My son, you have much to learn. He may look like a man, but, but before me, he acts like a child. See how he behaves when he gets excited. No matter what I say, he won't listen to me right now. I think that he has said enough for today. I see your point. Well, I suppose we should be leaving then. After all, our journey has only just begun. We cannot remain idle much longer. Alright, back in Kumbombo. Uh, I could probably talk to more people. Uh, let's put on Mind Read and Reveal. Now that we- now that the ceremony is over, we can enter more houses. <laughs> they won't be blocked by torches. So there's some more items to find as well. I think that he has enough for today. After he became a witch doctor, Akafubu had no more reason to focus himself. It is good that he now has a new goal. He'll have to work hard to earn the Great Gumbomba's magic. I'm going to be the one to get the, to get the Great Gumbomba's magic. You'll see. Dang, why did I leave that stupid room so quickly? Stupid, stupid, stupid Akafubu. Well, at least he's repenting. <laughs> In his head, but... Outward reactions aren't... aren't uh, too good. Kambombo's peace is restored now that the ceremony has reached its end. Now the fate of Kambombo's people depends on how Akafubu leads them. Can't believe that Akafubu would change simply because he completed the ceremony. Well, he's not like... He got a new outfit, but he doesn't have the magic, so I don't know how he's gonna do as a witch doctor. <laughs> Akafubu has finally completed his ceremony and things are starting to calm down. Maybe now our warriors can set aside their spears and return to their peaceful lives. Everyone was terribly worried about Akafubu's ceremony. We're all relieved it's over now. I couldn't for the life of me figure out how our warriors got to Indra without a boat. But I just found out that something had pushed Indra into contact with Gondwan. Yeah, that's how they did it. Did they not tell you? <laughs> Many and Gondwan fear the might of the Kimbombo warriors, but we don't want to be feared. Now is the time for Kimbombo to change its image. Okay, so you didn't want it. <laughs> you, you just attacked Madra for no reason. This is, you just heard the rumor that they had a jewel. It won't be easy convincing them that we have turned over a new leaf, but we'll try. We think it's time to inform the other villagers that Akafubu has completed the ceremony. I think they'll be glad to know that we no longer pose any threat to them. I am a mighty warrior trained from birth to be fierce. If you are feared, then you are powerful. I am supposed to start my being nice to people training on Monday. Okay. Right, nothing in here. 
Uh, we can finally go in the end. Now that the ceremony is over, I feel a touch depressed. I wish we could have had more big events like that soon. Now that the witch doctor ceremony is over, I've decided that it was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there are fewer warriors in Kambobo now, huh? Well, I didn't really notice, but uh, I guess... All our warriors were just local farm boys. Now that he's the witch doctor, Akafuba let them all return to their farming work. The like, given, given farmer swords. Covering our warriors in paint makes them scarier and it makes them more intimidating. Most of our warriors aren't that strong, so they need every trick they can use. Like, they probably don't, like, have any technique. Can't remember how long it's been since we had any guests. Tell you what, if you stay at our inn, you can have all the freshly grilled steak you want. Steak, amazing. I love Kimbombo's famous barbecue monster steak with extra spicy herb sauce. It's a local treat. That's fun to eat, but it's not nearly as fun as catching the monster. Don't worry about the beds here. We used to have in an insect problem, but not anymore. We use special bug powder on our beds. It's quite harmless to humans, I'll bet. I hope. <laughs> that bed makes me itch so badly. <laughs> Feels like bugs are crawling all over me. Whenever I get itchy, I just rub some of that bug powder all over myself. Welp. Anything here? Nope. How about up here? Okay, there is a nut. Just a regular nut. Not a, not a special hard nut. Eh, yeah, I'll probably go. Recover my synergy before we leave. Uh, let me actually talk to you behind the counter. I think there's a new weapon we can get from them. The weapons they sell in the shop are the ones we do not use in Kumbombo. You find it strange that I do not sell the weapons we make here, don't you? That is strange, because you would think the spears... You should sell them some- like, sell them your wares here, because right now they're just using weak spears. Our warriors appear so strong because of the deadly poison on their spears. In a war, Kimbombo spears would make a powerful ally. What about, like, the literal, like, magic that comes out of other weapons? The only defenses we Kimbombo need are our shields and our war paint. Our warriors think armor is for cowards. <laughs> because our paint is infused with the witch doctor's magic, we're safe from attacks. I would opt for paint in any battle, no matter how much- how much iron my enemy enemy wore. I guess it'd make me more agile, but come on. Considering Akafubu is your witch doctor, I wouldn't put much faith in his paint. Alright, so we have another wand. We got the frost wand. Uh let's give that to Shiva. Oh never mind, my pack is full. Uh let us give the synergy rod to Jenna. Because that should be an upgrade. And yeah. Uh, nothing else that's an upgrade. Ooh, I don't need to fix anything. Time to sell. I guess I could sell these swords. Stormbrand. Hypno sword. Sell. I guess I'm just gonna sell the bramble seeds. Take it up space. Armlets. Uh, do you have anything? Yeah, the safety boots, which. Pierce does not have any boots, but. God, his agility is garbage, and it just- it just makes his- it makes his agility so much worse. <laughs> the point where he attacks after, like, all the monsters. You are wearing chainmail. Any... Gauntlets. That's a small upgrade, but only, like, three defense, so it's, like, not too amazing. Although, surprisingly, Janet could wear the gauntlets. Trying to, like, calculate when it's gonna be replaced. How would I- I'm gonna give, give her some gauntlets. 
That's kind of a big uppy. I also get a game ticket. Yeah, I'll buy some more gauntlets. Give me more game tickets. I mostly just want the game ticket. Useful for later. Okay. We got some new equipment. That's good. Good old meat. I love meat. I can't wait to get until we get some. Roasting a boar on the spit. The smell of that sauce over the fire is making me so hungry. How long till we can eat? Get to eat normal animals again. They taste so much better than those monsters we've had. Lately, the monsters have been increasing and the animals are becoming more and more scarce. That's why everyone's so excited that we get to have nice normal steaks tonight. Kind of weird that there's a, a difference between monsters and, and animals. <laughs> I guess. I mean, you, you bump into like skelly warriors and spirits. And weird humanoid, other humanoid, humanoid creatures. I guess that would be a little weird to eat. Oh, I smell something delectable. We'll be eating some good meat soon. Don't think anyone will notice if I sneak a little nibble while I'm cooking, do you? Anything in this jar? Nothing in the jar. If you're looking for treasure, look west of the river. The rocky peaks there are called the belly of the continent. Great treasure hides there. Really? West of the river. I think- I try to think what's to the west, I don't think there's anything too exciting. Sure, legends speak of much treasure, but no one ever seems to have found it. I mean, there, there was a djinn to the south. Each year when the rain stops, our warriors look for treasure in the belly of the continent. Maybe the belly is hidden, or the treasure is also. I don't know, but they all return empty-handed. wonder what Oea meant when he said that our magic is deeply tied to the belly of the continent. Underground. Uh, let's see. Is there something in here? A lot of people here. You can see a Tekka from the bridge in, in the western Gondwan. My grandfather told me so. Someday I'll be a warrior like my grandfather. I'll be able to see it for myself. Oops. I'm never going to be a warrior. I must build more muscle and master the art of the spear. Heard that if you head west from the southern Gondwan, you'll see the east eastern sea. There are two continents in the middle of that ocean, Hesperia and Ateca. We'll go there later. Crossing the river by canoe is much too dangerous. I'll need a ship to get across. Heard that you head west from the southern Gondwan, you'll see the eastern sea. There are two continents in the middle of that ocean. Okay, wait. Did I... <laughs> I, I mind read your friend. I know I can find more animals and grain on the far side of the river. If only I could go. These seasonal monsoon rains have swollen the river and made it too dangerous to cross. Are you going to the western Gondwan? Yes, I don't know. That's unfortunate. The recent ra rains have swollen the rivers. It's too dangerous for, to allow us, for us to allow anyone to pass. Okay, so we need a ship. Which we are aiming for. Um, here we go. But the lucky metal. So I think that's actually last treasure of this place. We found the nut and the lucky metal that can only be found after Gumboma finishes or not Gumboma, <laughs> Akafubu finishes the ceremony. So any other treasures lie within the Gumboma statue, but yeah, we have to we have to come back with another synergy before we do that. As soon as Akafuba became our recognized witch doctor, he became so much nicer. Akafuba gets so grouchy. I wonder if it's just his frustration taking over. Oh, my back! It's been aching ever since that ceremony. I guess I really am too old to dance the night away. <laughs> You're also sleeping on a leaf. On a hard plank flo floor. I swear, that's the last time I'll ever let loose like that again. Silly old man. Also, kind of silly that there's a there's a frost puddle here. <laughs> In case we wanted to go uh, the piers route and hopping over this. Uh, so the tongue is out. So we get we could enter. We could actually enter the Gumbomba statue. 
right now, but... Let's just see the inside and see, like, when we get stuck. The Gumbomba Catacombs. So yeah, this is an area with lots of grass. Cross one stuns. Also, monster sat here. Yeah, there is lots of grass. And no, we can't just cut it with our sword. We need a synergy to deal with the grass, so we'll be back later. So that's a, that's where we get stuck here. All right, back up the elevator. It's weird, like technology to have for a tribal village. Like, huh? It's an elevator in here. It's like not operated by people, but I guess by synergy. Uh, then we go in all the houses. I think we're about ready to leave. Yeah, we talk to these people. I think there's a lady up here. I can get past these houses. Hey, lady! Now that Akafufu is our new witch doctor, we shall embark on a path to peace. The neighboring villages have no reason to fear our warriors any longer. Making smoke signals? This is a signal fire. We use these to send messages to neighboring villages. Hope these messages set our neighbors' minds at ease. <laughs> hey guys, we won't kill you. We're, we're good. I wonder if I can keep going until another village's village sees our signal and comes to meet with us. I don't care which village it is. Just send a delegation fast! Very concerned. I don't know why I'm hopping this instead of just going the normal way. They can talk to these guards. You didn't come to Kumbombo to get revenge on us for that raid, did you? Well, at first, but we weren't allowed to fight you guys. Whew, that's good to hear. We're supposed to protect the village, but I feel bad for the raid. No one in Kimbombo really wants wants war with our neighbors. We want everyone who shares this land to share peace as well. Yeah, the warriors are busy hunting right now. The food supply for the whole village depends entirely on the animals they catch. With all our battles behind us, we warriors spend our time refilling the village's food supply. They're mo more concerned about getting food than fighting. Okay, I think we talked to everybody. I think we went, went round robin. This is a witch doctor's house. Slash priest. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're ready to embark. Um, we will come back here later, though. Um, oh wait. I think I forgot to talk to... <laughs> I forgot to talk to Herb Lady. Who I never buy from, but... I'm sorry, but the Kimbombo spearheaded... Okay, my phone was turned on. I'm sorry, but the Kimbombo spearheaded... Spirit poison is a tribal secret they use for hunting only. Can't let our outsiders have it because they might try to turn it toward evil uses. I had a coin for every time some stranger came up and asked me to sell them poison. If they only let me sell it, I can make millions! Oh! <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. Okay, she sells nuts now. Or at least this store sells nuts. We need something better than herbs. Which actually might be good. Because honestly, the herbs aren't that great. <laughs> I might sell the herbs that I have. And I'll give... Give you the nuts. Right, so now we're, now we're ready to embark, I swear. <laughs> we're ready to leave. Alright, so now that we have black crystal in our hand and peers. They did mention, like, treasure to the west, but they also said the river's swollen, so we can't cross it. But yeah, we have to, we have to trek. <laughs> we have to trek all the way through the Kumbombo Mountains, which 
should hopefully be not too long. Because the Kumbombo shouldn't be after us anymore. Um, go through Nimarabwe, go through the Gondwan Cliffs, probably say hi to the people in Madra. And then if we remember, uh, I think there was a boat around here. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta go get Pierre's boat. And then once we have the boat, um, it'll be a lot easier to travel to, like, the other villages. And, like, maybe pick up some treasures that we missed along the way. Like, there was, like, a lot of puddles in some of the towns that we could freeze with, uh, Pierre's, uh, frost synergy. We'll be able to solve some more puzzles, gain some more treasures that way, but yeah, it'll be a lot faster if we get the boat first, so we'll be able to travel across the ocean and just kind of land on, like, beaches and, like, head to certain towns. So, although, it is kind of annoying to travel by ocean, because we still get monsters in the ocean. <laughs> but that's the way it is. XP. We always need XP. Alright, let's save our quest. Uh, yes, over this one. Okie doke. Yeah, we've been going for quite a while. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys had a fun time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.